My name is George Seasholtz, and we're here in Mendota, California on our family farm. Right now we're standing in a field of 80 acres of onions. And uh, currently in 2015, we're in a four-year drought. We're uh, very aware of what we are pulling out of the ground and, and being conservative about it. These are onions going to Olam, and uh, it's a two-way relationship. Olam uh, is always looking for growers with the resources to produce the onions, and in turn, they have adapted to what we need. Olam Spices and Vegetable Ingredients is a world-leading supplier of dehydrated vegetables, value-added products, and spice ingredients. The chances of you actually seeing Olam on the name of products is, is unlikely, but the chances of you consuming our products through some of the world's largest food brands is very likely on an everyday basis when you're reaching in your shelves. My name is Chris Bennett. I am the plant manager at Fireball California. We dehydrate onions. We require water to process our onions. Water is used in just about every food manufacturing facility and food manufacturing process out there. Uh, we pull our water out of a well that everybody else in this immediate vicinity uses. So we're very conscious of what's going on out there. I cannot think of anything more critical to our business than water. It's, I mean, it's a lifeblood. The realization that this is a finite commodity is something that uh, really hits home to us. And our involvement with WWF and the Alliance for Water Stewardship has uh, helped us become very organized in the way we think about what we can do with this finite resource. The Alliance of Water Stewardship, they kind of have some of the same goals we have, which is how to best manage the water and make sure that you look at things differently. So before working with AWS and we were embarking on our water stewardship journey, I think we had a tendency to only think about water stewardship or our water usage and risks and impacts within, within the fence line. AWS asks the right questions to get you to think outside of that. In working with AWS, we, we saw that it was a shared challenge. There are more than just us that's dealing with this. And AWS helps give some structure. It challenges you to not accept what you're doing, but to look for other methods. Water is the backbone of the business. We're always in a constant balance of our resources and then down below, which you can't see below, is some buried drip irrigation. There's a, uh, a water line that runs underneath each row of these onions. It's, it's feeding the roots directly and also eliminating any chance of evaporation, any kind of inefficiencies, and uh, basically makes production possible in, in especially years like this. And without the Olam configuration, these would not be possible. The farmers that we work with, the landscapes that we work with, the challenges are very diverse. If we didn't have the strong and long-term grower relations that we have, it would be extremely difficult to be the solution-driven partner that we are. The company is very big on sustainability. Our sustainability champions here work hand-in-hand -hand with the ones globally. I think that agriculture around the world has a tremendous responsibility right now. We have to feed the world. The world's population is growing. The amount of fresh water is not growing and therefore we have to be more and more efficient with the way we use it and we have to steward that water so that it is around for our children and many, many generations to come. It's the most important thing that we can do. We all hope that it's going to rain, but if it doesn't, what do we prepare for for other changes? Rain is only one solution. When it rains, it doesn't mean that we stop thinking about water conservation and water stewardship. If we don't get water right, it's going to have a big impact. This area here is one of the largest food producing areas in the world. And if, if we can't get it right, there's going to be a lot less availability of fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, not only for this area, but for the U.S. and the world. Water has become the main driver of sustainability of agriculture. And without continual consideration of available resources and management, uh, agriculture in California would not be possible. So we're, we're all working together to keep agriculture sustainable here in California.